Joel. Over there, Joel. Um, how, much, how much have you been able to see of Dennis Smith uh, this season? I haven't seen much of him. We, uh, I mean, I really haven't watched him a lot. I know I've seen stuff from like um, from his highlights and stuff on YouTube from when he was a senior in high school and stuff. But other than that, I never really got a chance to watch him play on TV or anything yet. So, Is he, did you guys cross paths at all on the AAU circuit? Or? No, he was younger than I was, and he played on the. I think he played on the Adidas circuit, so I never got a chance to a uh, chance to play against him. So, yeah. how much are you looking forward to? Yeah. Right, right. Yeah, um uh I I'm excited just because it's NC State. You know, we always get fired up going against them and um it's going to be a great game. But uh I'm not going to, you know, make it into a to a one-on-one matchup. You know, it's about North Carolina going against, you know, NC State. So, um I mean, uh, it's, it's going to be a fun game, going to be a fun matchup. But at the end of the day, you know, it's about our team going against theirs and not just, you know, me going against him. So, so. When, you're, when you're playing a guy like that who clearly is, you know, an offensive catalyst for their team, you have to work a little harder offensively. Does, you know, how do you make sure that doesn't affect your offense or are there things that you do? Right, to, right. You, know, <clears throat> to serve that? you just have to balance it. Um, you just got to make sure you uh, – Make sure you're getting it on the defensive end. Make sure you're doing the same thing on the offensive end. I know last game against Clemson, I kind of had it to where I, I was uh, playing a lot of offense and my defensive grade wasn't that good. So I just have to make sure I'm balancing it out and being able to know, you know, when to, you know, I don't know, exert more energy on one play than the other, stuff like that. So, yeah. A facilitator rather than a shooter, or, or do you let the game decide that? Yeah, I just, I mean, I get lost in the game, and usually the game decides that. I mean, I'm always playing off of instinct. You can't just uh, just say you're going to do something. So um, usually it's just me getting lost in the game, and whatever happens, happens. So. 41 minutes the other night, you yeah. talked about the cramps. You had the illness, the IVs, and everything. Was your recovery any different than for the previous game, or did it take you a little longer? took me a little longer. Um, it was a time where I had uh, the stomach bug and I wasn't able to eat for like two days. So I think um, I just tried to push my fluids, tried to eat a little bit more. Um, Jonas, our trainer, tried to make me some shakes and stuff to try to, you know, because I really did have an appetite. So um, I think it took a little longer, but I mean, it happens, but uh, I'm, I'm recovered now and I'm, I'm back eating, which I like to do. So, yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I'm fully through it. Yeah, I'm done with it. So uh, hopefully I don't get it again. But uh, but it was a it was a hard recovery. But um, I'm over it. So. Yeah, I'm looking forward. Uh, I mean, I've came in with him. Um, he's a great player. You know, we thought that you know he was gonna come in and have a great uh, great season this year at the beginning. But you know, he had a little setback. So I'm looking forward to him getting out there on the court. Uh, it's gonna it's gonna be fun having him back. You know he's always in the media. You know doing crazy stuff. So now it's a it's a good chance to see him actually play some basketball. So. <laughs> yeah, I think he brings uh, facilitating. Um, he helps a lot with us on the defensive end. You know he's long. Um, he's athletic. So with him being out on the court and being able to. Um, have him on the defensive side. I think that'll help us a lot on that end. And then on the offensive end, just him facilitating, being able to get to the basket. And uh, he's improved this shot a lot. So hopefully, you know, he'll come in and um, help us with, you know, the three point three point percentage. And then just being a player. I think that's what coach wants him to be, and he's capable of being that. So. He hasn't had much practice time, but as of now, he's. He's looking all right. You know, he's trying to get his win back, you know, sitting out for so long. You know, it's hard. to You can't simulate, you know, our practices with uh, doing doing workouts and stuff on the bike and all that. But um, right now he's trying to get his win back, but he's looking pretty good. I think he just has to get back in the rotation of, you know, uh, actually making basketball plays and stuff. So. Oh, yeah, definitely, especially with him sitting out, you know, so long. I think that it's going to take a little bit for him to be able to get back. 
get back in the flow of things, what we're doing now, um, get in sync with everyone else. But, uh, I mean, that's expected being out so long. So um, I think he'll come back. It'll probably take a couple of games. But it's just good to have him back in the rotation and just have another guy that we can go to either starting or, you know, going coming off the bench. So. Uh, I mean, I think so, but um, I mean, only uh, him being out of court, being out on the court, can tell. I just think as a team, um, we have to start, you know, playing with more passion, playing with more energy. I think in that Georgia Tech game, I think we were just out there expecting to win that game, and uh, we showed. I know for myself, I showed no passion. The team just felt like, just felt like we had no energy. So um, we just have to continue to play with that whether Theo is out there or if he's not. So um, I think that's one thing that hopefully he'll bring, but um, I think we just have to continue to have that regardless. So. Roy, Roy said he wasn't quite sure what the identity of his team was yet. I know you guys played as well as anybody through the Maui tournament and have had some setbacks since. Do you have a sense of kind of what the, the identity of this team is? I think so. I think that just some guys or all of us, we just have to continue to play within ourselves and not try to do anything outside of what we uh, what we can do. Um, if we continue to stick to our roles and, and, and play defense, I think that's the biggest thing. I mean, I know we stress it all the time, but if we can stop people from scoring, um, that's, that's you know, a, a great thing. I mean, we can score the ball. We have guys that can score, but if we can stop someone, and um, just like in the Clemson game, we were up uh, by eight at one point, and then we came back down and just let up on the defensive end, and they were back in the game. So things like that, just um, just on the defensive end, we got to get it together. But I think that uh, our identity is that we just – I mean, I want to be a tough team. That's what, I, that's what I pride myself on is being tough, and that's what I want this team to be, and I think we're capable of doing that. I have, and I'm not big on snow. I'm from Florida, so but I got my jacket, I got my skull cap, so I think I'm ready for it. <laughs> you may play, you may not play. Is that a distraction? Does that factor in there? Do you even think about that? Just a little, but we have to be prepared regardless of what happens. Um, if we play, if we if we don't play, but uh, I'm still going in thinking that you know the game is going to be tomorrow, so I don't want to have it to where we get out on the court. And, you know, coach is like, well, you know, guys, we are playing today. So I don't want that thought. And uh, so as we go in today, we have to prepare like we're going to play tomorrow. So. Uh, they supply us with like a, a, a big jacket. So I brought my, my three of them from the previous – or two of them from the previous year. So I'm going to have both of those on. <laughs> And probably two score caps and some gloves. So, <laughs> uh, I think the coldest has gotten maybe forty five. But I mean, exactly. Yeah, that's before the sun comes up. But when the sun comes up, it's like eighty, ninety. So, I mean, I could spend my Christmas out on the beach if I wanted to. So, <laughs> yeah, I heard. I saw that Sunday was gonna be four degrees. So, it's not my I don't, I don't like it, but I got, I'm prepared for it, so. <laughs>